Beijing's Palace Museum is marking its 90th anniversary with an exhibition of its rarest items, as well as a tribute to the works of restorers. But has also opened a cultural and creative studio where visitors can purchase informative souvenirs. Let's take a look. Located in the Forbidden City, the museum will be a hot ticket for China's National Day holiday tomorrow. Though, in order to offer a better viewing experience, the number of visitors is limited to 80,000 per day. The new cultural and creative studio has more than 7,000 products for sale based on the museum's collections, arranged into eight themes, including books, ceramics, and clothing. These items provide insight into the royal lifestyles of yesteryear. This product, for example, is inspired by an old piece here at the Palace Museum. The original one was used by an empress. The pattern was very chic at that time and represents good wishes. But the museum is already talking about an upgrade to the new space. This is the last hall that people visit when they leave. It could be a space where visitors can get a deeper understanding of the palace museum. We hope to build a place to not only sell souvenirs, but more importantly, a place for visitors to better understand the traditional culture of the Forbidden City. The cultural and creative studio represents another effort by the museum to enrich the visitor experience. Most of the items it sells can also be purchased online. Liu Wenwen, CCTV.